question. For this question, we'll need to find the minimum volume of the cone. First for this, we'll need to know how to find the volume of the cone. For the volume of the cone, we can use V cone, right? Yes. So for this, the volume of the cone, this is a one-third times the base times the height, right? Correct. Then, tell me, what is the base here? The base is this pi r squared. The height? The height is... We'll three. just put it as a height first, okay? Okay. So right now here, one third, this is a pi x squared times the height. Here, this, this is y plus a, right? Correct. So for this, we have our volume of the cone. Can we find similar triangles? Okay. So let me just draw it here. So the similar triangles. What do you think they are? Okay, this must be a light angle. Okay, it is a. It is the. Okay, then. A O E. This is. Remember, it must be corresponding. So this is a. A C D. Yes. Wait, this is the A D C. Because at A O E, this is a right angle. As so, this is a ADC, right? Yes. Okay, so for this, right now we have AO to this is AD. Correct. Also, OE to OE to OE to DC. Also. A E to A C like this, right? Yes. So A O to A D. What is this? A O to A D. A O to A D. So first A O. A. So first A O. This is a Y, right? Yes. A O is a Y. Then A D. We'll need to use the Pythagoras theorem. So this is a square root. This is bracket. So it will be. Is it like this? Okay, then out. Then next we have our O E to D C. Correct? Yes. So for this OE to DC, remember OE, which is an 8, OE is 8, DC, this is the X, that's the X. So this is an 8 over X, okay? Okay? Okay. And here we have our AE to AC. A E, we look at the Y and A, so this is a square root Y squared plus or minus? Uh, Y squared minus, minus, right? Yes. Then this is over. For the A C, this is a Y plus A, correct? Correct. So just take a look at this, like this. Okay. Which tool will we use? We will use this and this. Okay, so yes, we'll use these two, right? Yes. Because For those are too complicated. 
So x, what is it? We need to times x to here, then this will divide. Yes. Is it like this? Then here we'll have x for this y plus 8. It is actually a square root, the bracket y plus 8 bracket square, right? Right. So we can put this in the square root, which will become a square root y plus 8 over y minus 8, right? Right. So we found the x. Yes. Wait, it's a a. Like this, right? Yes. Right? So here, this x, we found it. We'll sub it into our volume. So for this, one third here will have our a square times the y plus 8 over y minus 8. And here is y plus 8. Behind is a pi. Correct. Then for this, 8 square we can put it on top. Okay. Then we can times in. Then finally this pi, right? Yes. So right now, can we find the first derivative? Okay? Yes. So for the first derivative, the 8 squared over 3 stays the same. And also the pi stays the same. Right now, what we'll have to look at is the this part, right? Yes. So first is a 2, right? y plus 8 over y minus 8. And now this out. Then this is minus. For here we have a negative here. And remember this is a y minus 8. And this. What is this it? Square, right? Yes. This is the square. What about up here? Should I say? Except for it, it is a plus. Quickly. So here, we'll have the square, right? Yes. Then for this, is it the n? Yes. Because that we have our the numerator differentiate, then our denominator differentiate, right? Correct. So we found our first derivative. Now we'll let the first derivative be 0. The first derivative be 0. And this 2 will actually be this 2. We can actually take a I mean the y plus 8 over y minus 8 to the front. So we'll only be left with a y plus 8 over y minus 8. Like this, right? Right. So what will be our y? Our y? 6? I mean 24. 24, right? So like this, we get our y. Right now, yes. can we find the second derivative? So okay. can you just erase this part first? Okay. find the second derivative. So for this, this will be, we look at this part, right? Yes. This in front is still the same, right? Yes. This is still the same. This 2, 2 over, it is the x. Wait, first for this, we look at here, okay? Okay. So next will be our denominator, which is uh, minus. 
Here we will have a two bracket y plus eight over this square, right? Yes. So can I erase here also? Okay. okay. So like this, but remember our part at the back, so we'll still have a minus. Here is a two bracket y plus eight over bracket y minus eight this square, right? Yes. Then because that here should be a negative and there's another minus, so this is a plus. Okay. And this is a plus. This is y plus eight square over this will be because that we have an extra two here, okay? Okay. We have a y minus eight this square. The cube. Right? Okay. So like this is at the end? Okay. No. The next for this, we can actually take out a uh, two over y minus eight from the first two, right? Yes. So this is a eight square pi over three. And here is our two over y minus eight. Here's a one minus This is y plus 8 over y minus 8. Then minus. For here we'll have a 2, this bracket, y plus 8 over this square. Right? Okay. Then for this, we'll have... At first, this is a 1, right? Right? Yes. Then it's a minus. 2 in front, so this is actually a... This is y plus 8 over y minus 8. Okay. Like this. Okay, right? So, after this... Can we continue with this? Okay. Because that we can still take some things in front, right? Yes. So first, can we have a 2 at the front? Okay. Here we have a 2. And here's a pi over there's a 3. These, we both have a y minus 8. So over here, this whole thing is taken out. Right now, can we just have a y minus this thing in front? Okay. So then, what will be left? Remember, here it is a 1, then here is minus, the 2 taken to the front, and over this thing taken to the front, so it's actually another y plus 8 over y minus 8, right? So yes. we can put this as the square. Like this. Okay. And we'll sub the y that is 24. Right? Oh, okay. but what did you realize about this? For this, this is a plus, right? This so it will be bigger than. And this zero. is also a positive. Yes, correct. So this so is. So it is the minimum. So here we are finding the minimum, yes. Yes. After this, we will use the trigonometric method. Then this y will just suck in. And before suck that, in the volume, right? Yes, and this method is the algebraic method. Oh, but, but for yeah, the x is 
over here. What about our volume? So our volume, we'll start in x first, right? Yes. So this x will be? Right there over there. Okay, so let me just write it here. So for this x, you can erase that, okay? Wait, so but later we still need to use it. The equal sign, okay? So 8 okay. square root, this will be? Square root 2, right? Okay. Because that, that fraction is actually here, what is a 2, right? Yes. So we'll just start the x in here, which will become uh, 2 over 3. This is the pi. And we'll have to times the 8 square. And we'll also have an y plus 8, which is actually a... Um, 32. Okay. But for this, because that 2 can actually times this, so it will actually be a 64 times a 64. 64 times 64. So this is actually a four zero nine six over three okay can i five. erase this now okay just take a quick look at this and what is this unit cm cube cm cube right yes okay so this is just for our first method yes later we still need to use this actually okay so right now we can look we can still look at this triangle, right? Yes, but the first step we won't erase because it's so the same. For this, can we just write it over here? Okay, but... Just okay. erase, erase. Okay, so everything okay? Okay, as if for this triangle. And 
this will over this is the square root y square minus 8 square and this is over the y square so actually this will be a 8 over square root y square minus 8 square right correct but for this how will we find something we need to find right yes so this is actually a x over y plus 8 okay stop swinging your hand so right now we have these two we'll need to find this x so we just need to times this to the other side okay the x is here so for this x this will times this 8 this is y plus 8 over the square root y square minus 8 square then we'll put this into the square root so this is a 8 square root do you know how to write it this is a y plus 8 right yes then this is over y, y minus 8, eight. So what did you realize about this y? These two are the same, so we don't need to continue. So it's actually the same thing all over again, right? Yes. So would we need to continue? No. Okay, so just remember this and the previous method is actually the same process, just the beginning is a little bit different, okay? Okay. So you get it? Remember, yes. we can continue, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, so let's end here. Bye. Bye.